In this video, we're going to be talking about a MPU 6050. This is a, um, a sensor that has a gyroscope, an accelerometer, and I think also a temperature um, sensor as well. So uh, this is what I bought. This is the price, $1.51, and this is the seller that I got it from. So let's go ahead and see what, uh, what I've been making and what I've been doing so far with this. So here is the, uh, the sensor, what it looks like. Now I needed, this uh, does not come soldered with the pins. So you would have to choose between um, this type of pin or this type of pin. And there's probably advantages for both. And I just chose uh, this one and I did uh, some soldering as well as you can see. Now I'm not a great uh, I'm not I'm a great person soldering but I'll show you what I soldered everything with. I have a USB soldering iron uh, that I reviewed in a previous video that I have. So this USB uh, soldering iron um, can be run with a uh, power bank just like this. And since it has a small head and a small surface, it does get very hot very quickly and I was able to use it with a magnifying glass to solder what I needed. And when it's working correctly, you can see that there is a green light that's on. And you can also see on the uh, the red board, it's uh, some lights running as well. So uh, once uh, the software is started, you open up your serial monitor. It'll ask for this. You type in any key. We'll do that right now. Press enter. And then it starts giving some values here. And here I am with the Arduino uh, software. So I'm going to go to the um, MPU 6050. Now you have to get this from uh, the on the internet. You have to go to uh, GitHub. And I'm going to use this DMP6 example. And once you load up the software, I have to make a small change here, but I'm going to drop down the serial rate, the bar rate, down to 9600 to make this work correctly. Now, since this is my first day running with this, um, I have not calibrated it or anything. But once I uh, tilt it around, right now I'm going to tilt it to a 45 degree angle. I'm going to bring it up, and you can see the... Um, Forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five. So um, I'm lifting up the front of it to a forty-five degree angle. I'll show you what I'm doing here. So I'm just playing with it like this. You can also twist it around, and you can see when you twist it. changes as well. So this is, like I said, working out with this um, device for the first time. And this is what I've come up with so far. So in order to make uh, robots and other type of devices, this uh, sensor is pretty important. I'd also like to find out more about the temperature, um, how it records temperature, or how I can use this uh, just to record temperature only. So this will be probably for my next videos. So thanks for watching. Goodbye.